Jackie Rowland is in Paris for us. So, Jackie, we heard there Tim saying that Sarkozy is a fighter, but what did you do to win over those who voted for Marine Le Pen, for instance? Well, it's going to be very tough, and it's not entirely all in his hands, um, because whereas um, on the left, uh, the, the, the leader of the, the leftist alliance um, came out straight away and gave a de facto endorsement um, of the socialist candidate, uh, Sarkozy has had no such gift at all from the National Front. In fact, um, quite the opposite. It seems that Marine Le Pen may be wanting to bide her time and establish herself as the future candidate of choice um, against the socialists. So if Sarkozy is chasing after the votes of her supporters, he's going to have to focus very much on the issues which are close to their hearts. Things which he has been talking about a lot in the campaign anyway, like immigration, tightening the control of France's borders, um, this kind of um, anti-outsider, anti-Europe rhetoric that we've heard from Marine Le Pen. Anyway, she's certainly not going to make a gift of her supporters to uh, President Sarkozy in the second round, as the founder of her party and her father made clear. This beautiful electoral success demonstrates one thing, that here the love of our country is not just a campaign slogan, it's a reality. So I congratulate you and thank you for all the work you've been doing, and I ask you to send a message of my warmest congratulations to all your supporters. And now it's my turn to applaud you, because you were kind enough to do the same when I arrived. Uh, and Jackie, so what does Hollande need to do for the second round? Hollande, in many ways, to use electoral jargon, it's Hollande's election to lose at this stage. He came out with a very strong showing in the first round. At the end of the day, the lead wasn't as big as we might have expected, about 1.5%, but he still did come out on top, and that gives him a huge psychological um, momentum. Um, he also, as I just mentioned, um, can count on the support of most of, if not all, the uh, left-wing candidate supporters. The um, ecologists, the Green Party, have endorsed him, and it's likely that other small leftist groups um, will give their votes to him as well in the second round. But um, he is still going to have to fight perceptions of him um, as someone who is untested, untried, inexperienced, and those will certainly be the kind of perceptions that Sarkozy will be playing on as hard as he can. He's going to try to present um, Hollande as a danger, someone who hasn't got a steady hand at the helm, who couldn't be trusted to chart France through the difficult economic and political waters that lie ahead. And I think really it's going to be uh, the television debate, since um, Hollande has only agreed to one, although Sarkozy wants three. It will be that television debate, I think, that could well be key in clinching the minds of any voters who are still um, in doubt around the 1st or 2nd of May, a few days before the second round. Sarkozy knows that he performs well in, in these kind of situations. Hollande, I think, feels less confident. So that is another um, area in which Hollande will want to do a lot of preparation with his campaign strategists, his media advisers, in order to try um, to turn that debate to his advantage. Okay, Jackie, thanks very much indeed. Jackie Rowland, live in Paris.